<laughs> Welcome to Retired 20, episode 10. The last 10 miles of this hike were hell, but I ended up getting the truck, picking up Jacob, and we're at McDonald's now. We also have Brick here. I don't know if you can see Wait, that. Wait, isn't there this the is. tea? Yeah, I know a lot of tea that fizzes. Are you sure? Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Retired at 20, episode 10, the finale. A lot of shit happened yesterday, and I'm an honest guy, so I'm going to tell you what, what, what went down last night. There was, a, there was some projectile vomiting, tents were covered in puke, yard was covered in throw up. You bet your ass we had a good last night of being retired. And yeah, we woke up at about 5 o'clock this morning, and we're going to go up to Fishtown and do some fishing. And unfortunately, tomorrow I have to go home. You guys see this tent right here? I got that tent for my eighth birthday, and all my dad's friends said it would be a horrible gift, and that I would hate it. It was my favorite birthday gift, and Jacob threw up in it yesterday. Asshole. Welcome to Fishtown once again. Our third time visiting Fishtown during the Retired at 20 series. We're back here again. I got uh, Steve's right next to me. I'm being interrupted right now. This is called hangover fishing. I'm currently sitting on a cooler and life is good. That's a fish for you. Good morning and welcome back to Retired at 20 episode 10, the grand finale. I am coming out of retirement. This has been a day I have not been looking forward to. It's been a beautiful summer and I've got to spend four months of it up north. I can't explain my whole life I've been dreaming about doing this. You see we're packing up Big Red here. And then in a, about 30 minutes we're going to get on the road. We're going to go back to Oscoda, pick up the trailer and bring a bunch of stuff back. And then we go back to the city unfortunately. I'll see you guys when I get back to Rochester. There's still a couple things I want to do. Show me who you Well, six hours of driving today. Sutton's Bay to Oscoda, Oscoda to Rochester Hills. What a day, what a day. I'm back here, it felt really weird. It's been four months. I've never spent that much time away from home. It was very emotional. My grandma cried when I left. You know, it was, it was a real blessing in disguise being able to spend that much time with my grandparents. As you guys can see, the rehearsal studio is a complete shit show. I came, I got, got in here and Things were dusty, guitars were just put away, some of my favorite guitars just put away on shelves. Nothing's set up. I went to play my pedal board, step on it, it wasn't wired correctly. So I brought the flatbed trailer home and I ended up bringing the uh, two stage risers over here, I'll show you guys. We, we use those stage risers for a lot of our um, up north shows where we don't necessarily have a, a set stage, so we actually use the stage risers to kind of make our own. Well, I decided to just retire them, and I'm going to put them up in the Siren uh, headquarters behind me, and we'll, we'll retire them there, and that's where they will uh, they'll serve a good purpose there. We'll put the drums and a couple amps up on them. So the, for the remainder of this episode, episode 10, coming out of retirement, the, the finale of this series that I started, um, we're going to put this studio back together. Believe it or not, I actually have to go uh, to bed tonight early because i got to work tomorrow. First time teaching an, a face-to-face -face guitar lesson in almost four months. So I'll see you guys when I get back from work tomorrow. It's going to be a long day, long, tough day. See you guys. So last time I checked in, I told you guys that I had a ton of work to do around the house to get back moved in and uh, moved back in, can't talk, into, you know, start beginning my uh, retired life 
not retired anymore and uh, basically start the slow process of coming out of retirement. So yesterday I worked. That was a little strange being back in the lesson room. You know, we have plexiglass between teacher and student. And I guess pretty exciting news for you guys. On my back here, the minute I walked in work, I saw a guitar and I said, that's coming home with me. So I, I bought a new guitar. We'll, we'll talk about that later though. I'm on my way back to Limelight right now to actually film a, a video about the special precautions we've taken with the coronavirus and how we are doing in-store lessons safely. Good morning. You guys remember that one episode titled A Never Ending Road Trip? If not, go watch it. But that title pretty much applies to my life now. My life is a never ending road trip. This morning, we're going to Oscoda and back, six hour round trip to drop off the flatbed trailer, maybe do some fishing. Miles is gonna be tagging along. I gotta go pick him up as soon as he wakes up. And yeah, I, I'm kinda looking forward to this and I'm kinda not, cause six hours is a lot of time behind the wheel. All right, welcome back to Retired at 20. We got Miles here. What's up? And we're at Bronner's Christmas Wonderland. For those of you who do not know what this is, it's the world's largest Christmas store. Literally open year round. It is massive. It is located in Frankenmuth, Michigan, which is um, right on the way to Oscoda. So I, this would be a cool thing for Retired at 20, the finale. And yeah, we'll, we're gonna try to smuggle a camera in and see what's up. Welcome to Bronner's Christmas Wonderland. The camera will not do any justice at how big this place is, but seriously, look around. It's it's insane. It's just every day is Christmas here. I can't believe it. We have to find Santa. We're gonna we're gonna go look for Santa right now. I've been to Bronner's a few times in my life. I mean, it's just. Like miles and miles of Christmas stuff. It puts you in the weirdest mood. I've never been here in July. What about you, Miles? You no, been... it's weird. It's it's weird, man. So it is actually quite easy to get lost in there. Like, is my microphone on? Yeah, no microphone's on. No bullshit. I mean, it is really easy to get lost in there. And we almost did. After, we were in there like five minutes. Are we gonna go see Giant Santa? This place is insane, people. It's just even over there at Zender Splash Village, there's Christmas stuff. There's a giant Santa over there. There's one big ass Santa. Well, thank you guys for stopping at Bronner's with us. Uh, it's definitely a little hidden Michigan gem. But we got to get back to the truck because it's hot, and uh, I, I left the left it on. You know, electric start with bear in there. So, time to go get some McDonald's. I'm starving. Good morning, friends, and I apologize about the lighting situation in here. Like I mentioned a couple days ago, the studio is still getting set back up since I arrived back in Rochester. I told you guys I purchased a Stratocaster. I was going to save this for a later video once I get the backdrop up and running again, but. You know, it, it needs to be shown. It sounds incredible. I got here with me my 2020 American Professional Stratocaster and I absolutely love this thing. So with the purchase of a new Strat also came a new pedal. Long overdue to my pedal board is a compression, a CS3 by Boss. Long overdue, this thing really brings out my guitar in the mix. 100% stock, American made Fender right there. I'm so glad to have this thing back in my possession, or not in my possession, just in my possession. It has been an honor to spend my retired life with you guys. It's truly sad that it's over. It feels good to be back home in the studio though. I'm gonna start getting on that album with Siren. We got a lot of stuff to do. Remember to like, comment, and to subscribe. We've, we've hit the 100 subscriber mark. I really appreciate all this support that's been given. I appreciate Dan Becker for the shout out. I appreciate Rory from Illinois, all the people who have been there since the beginning. Quick side note, we're not only going to be doing guitar videos on this channel. There will be a lot of things. Outdoors, hunting, fishing, 
I'm an outdoors guy. This is going to be a life channel, but my life is mostly guitars. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the future. Goodbye. I also wanted to tell you guys that all the music used in this series was from Siren's album Promises, and I really encourage you to check it out as we begin making our second album. A lot of cool things in the future, a lot of things to look forward to. I promise you there will be a season two of Retired at 20 someday. I'll see you guys once we get started with guitar videos again.